Projects are the main working areas within the Form.io platform. Here, form builders and developers can collaborate to create forms and resources, manage underlying submission data, connect third-party integrations, manage stage deployments, organize and facilitate roles and permissions, and more. All of these components come together within a single API endpoint domain and is typically associated with a single web-based application. To create a new project, log into the portal and click the Create Project button. You can either create a brand new project, which will include the default forms, resources, and roles, or import an existing project by clicking the Upload a Project Template button and selecting a project JSON file from your local machine. Now that our project has been created, we'll cover the main working areas and UI elements offered within the project. Clicking the Formio logo will redirect you back to the main portal page. The hamburger menu will collapse the left-hand navigation bar, giving you more real estate to work within your project. You can find the project title at the top in your project plan if you're using the SAS offering. The project live endpoint can be found below the project title. Documentation links can be found at the top right of the project. Clicking the username dropdown will allow you to view or edit your account information, manage your license, review or update your payment options, and log out of the platform. The left-hand navigation bar will navigate you through the different working areas of the Form.io project. Clicking the Form and Resource tabs will direct you to their respective landing page. Here you can create new forms or resources, or manage your existing ones. Clicking the Import button will allow you to copy a form or resource from another stage or project by adding the Embed URL from a form or resource. There are also quick links to launch the form, copy the form within the context of the project, and an option to delete the form or resource. Clicking the Data tab will direct you to an area where you can quickly view or export data from your forms and resources within the project. The Access tab is where you can create, delete, and manage all of your project roles and your project level access permission. You also have shortcuts to the access configurations for all of your forms and resources. The Stages tab is where you will create, deploy, and manage your stage versions. You can also import JSON files from other projects or stages, or you can export your own project JSON file. Click the PDF tab to review all of your PDFs uploaded to your project. This section will give you information such as the PDF ID and what forms they have been uploaded to. Once a PDF has been disconnected from a form, you will have the option to delete that from the project entirely. If you're utilizing the Form.io SAS option, the Usage tab will display your monthly API request count as well as the form and resource limit. This will also detail your user permission if you're accessing the project as part of a team. The API Explorer provides you with Swagger 2.0 documentation for all of your APIs generated from your project forms and resources. Use caution, however, as this is a live explorer. Any tests through this interface will execute the API endpoints. Tenants will list all of your current tenants and associated settings that can be configured for each tenant. Use this UI to manage your organizational tenants that reside within your project. Quickly copy your stage ID by clicking the stage ID button. Clicking the Teams tab will take you to the team management page where you can view, add, or delete teams from the project. Click the Project Plan tab to review or change your current project plan, monthly billing, and any on-premise API or PDF servers. Lastly, clicking the Settings tab is where you can do things like modify your API and PDF server settings, apply public configurations, connect third-party integrations, and more.